Hello, my name is Sam Keen, and this is my channel, Explore Game Dev. I've been a software developer for over 20 years now, and throughout that time, my hobby has also been software development. And over the last year or so, much of that hobby time has gone into learning game development. I tried Unity for a while, built a simple game with that, but then I've recently switched to Godot, switching into 2D game development, finding it a simpler place to start to learn the core concepts for game development and Godot has excellent 2D game support. My prior software development experience has certainly helped in learning game development, but I quickly realized there's so much to learn that's different from what I've done before. But I find that exciting. I think as many people viewing this video do, we like to learn new things. My goal as I learn more and more about game development is to document that on this YouTube channel. I find that putting in that research and effort helps me to further solidify those core concepts. And then hopefully, uh, what I do document can be helpful to others who are also learning game development. In this video, I will show you how to leverage the core concepts of keyboard shortcuts in Godot and help you to become a more proficient game developer. I'll show you how to resolve issues where keyboard shortcuts from the operating system might collide with keyboard shortcuts of Godot, at least those defaults. We'll show you how to change those to values that don't collide. Also provide you with the consolidated cheat sheets with some of the more commonly used Godot shortcuts. You'll find that if you look at the list of all shortcuts, it can be a little overwhelming. So this sheet will help you to learn some of those core concepts, get them committed to muscle memory, and then you can move on to some of the more advanced shortcuts. So let's dive in and see what Godot has to offer with regards to keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so here we're in Godot. If we go up to the editor main menu, go to editor settings. Within there is the overall, if we just go to the shortcuts tab, and here's the list of all the editor settings. It's quite quite vast. If you look at that scroll bar width on the right, you can get a sense of how many uh, entries are in here. So if we just choose one, so here's close when we're in the editor menu. If we press command W, that will close the, the current uh, editor pane that's open. You see, we can edit that and change that to say something like command X. Click OK. And now we see in the menu that that close in the editor. Now instead of command W is command X. But we can easily change that back. This was just a test. So we click this rollback button and we're back to command W. Okay, to demonstrate one of those collisions you might see, um, by default in OS X, the, some of the show editor commands collide with OS X um, keystrokes. So here I'm in the script editor. If I attempt to go to the 2D editor with Alt 1, I instead get this strange little uh, character types out. Um, not what I intended, so that's that's okay because Godot's keyboard shortcuts are configurable, so let's go ahead and change that. Okay, so let's fix that collision we just saw. If we go into Editor, Editor Settings, and over to Shortcuts, um, we do notice that we can search here. So if we go Open um, Editor, that should pull up the ones we're curious about, and here they are. So open 2D editor, 3D editor, and script editor. You can see by default, they're assigned Alt 1, Alt 2, and Alt 3. Uh, for me, again, that collides when I'm in the script editor. If I were to uh, try to go to 2D editor, Alt 1 does that weird character. So we know we can change that. So we just click here, and then we will change that to command uh, one and we'll do the same for 3d editor with command two and finally script editor with command three okay we can see there's a all set we know they're not defaults because it has this rollback button um, that all auto saves so we can just click out of here now if we go into the editor and i do i'm in the editor and i do command one. I'm back in the uh, 2D and of course command three and, or command two, sorry. I'm in the 3D editor and command three back in the script editor and I can go to 3D editor. Everything works great. So again, that's if you see that happen where the default Godot uh, keyboard shortcut collides with something else, you can always change it. The number of Godot shortcuts can be a little overwhelming when you first get started. So I have consolidated uh, some of the more common shortcuts into a couple of cheat sheets. 
Uh, they're the same. It's just ones for OS X and ones for Windows. Uh, you can find those on my GitHub account, so you can go ahead and download those in any time. Um, that can just help you to get started to learn some of those key shortcuts again. So uh, that is everything. Thank you very much for taking the time to take a look at this. And if you'd like, uh, please give a thumbs up on the video. Certainly comment. Um, I'll, I'll uh, reply to any comments I receive. And if you're so inclined, uh, click that subscribe button. You can keep track of new content uh, as I release it on YouTube. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.